city on the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to be. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. <clears throat> a time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. He has made everything beautiful in his time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. The word of the Lord.
serves all that we need to Lord, that she may be welcomed into the sanctuary of heaven, Lord hear us.
and within a week or two of work had begun in the church grounds and that work continued on here in the church to very this evening as well as the church in the door. I tried to start work done over a very, very short period of time. And I suppose we had some wonderful evenings as well. Uh, we think back on the church concerts, everything from Faith Coulter to Michael English. And Harsh Garth, who did, I see the studio down there as well today, a great friend of Father Kevin as well, and he was so involved in all of us, Harsh Garth, who did. But I suppose we saw the true Father Kevin in March 2020 when COVID 19 struck. Contributing to lockdown, shocks and illnesses were all closed along with churches. But Father Kevin was very much determined to keep the parish of my man and not the lower and alive. It began with the introduction of the usual masses that were done live every Sunday. Our delight as well today to be joined by Connor and Brent Morgan were solely in mind all those usual masses. So I think they deserve a very big round of applause. But as well as the usual masses, then came to life the brainchild of the mind, the doorway of the world. The doorway of hope gave hope to so many different people. Father Kevin stood here night after night in all kinds of weather conditions and celebrated Mass. And I suppose it was a lot more than just Mass on its own. Um, you had Mass from the doorway of hope, but you also had confessions, drive through confessions in the car park. And as well as that, you had the drive through station to the cross for Easter. All you had support, strength, and encouragement to so many people. Allow people to come in the safety of their own cars and still continue the celebrations as normal. But that still wasn't enough. He wanted to reach out to the people who were at home, those people who couldn't come, and they are where we saw the introduction and the birth of 99.9 FM, or some such radio as he's like to call it. But I think people who turned on the radio at quarter to seven in the evening before Mass. You got a lot more than mass. You got no updates from the parish for what happened during the day, and you heard the sports results, along with many other things, as well as there was always a book of songs to the before mass. They could range anything from Big Tom to Joe Dolan to Memorial Open to the Joy Crossing. You could hear any of those on your radio on any given evening. Today, we reveal two facts in Father Kevin's memory. The first is a memorial. Looking out of the front doorway of home, it's the very same as the tomb that Father Kevin erected during his time here in honour of our two late former parish priests, Father John Lewis and Father Michael Kevin. And I know no lights are telling us during the week that Father Kevin was behind organising those two facts, and when he met no lights and no organising them, he said, he said, just the next one, no one will be doing it, will probably be a book we eat. Little did we think that that's. That that would actually happen and to be true. The second fact is here on the wall beside the doorway of hope, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple of minutes' time. But before we go any further, I'm going to call on Michelle Mulvill, chairperson of the White Man and the Irish Pastor Council, to say a few words. But this 
came to the media and he came to communication with people. He communicated with people in every way. Um, I think his performance on our team's program was an amazing performance. We talked about the need for the church to change, um, and he was a part of that change. Um, but he was also involved in a few other things. He was involved in the garden.
for another big long speech, but it's not going to be a big long speech. All I've been told here is give it a good, good hand to hope, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I suppose here is the doorway of hope, and Toronto McMahon gives so much hope to so many people all around the country. It's a delight and an honour to be in this flat. No, what he would say is, oh, Kerry, I would say, <laughs> have the tea, I go home, and, uh, and enjoy the match. That's what he would say. All right, God bless. So we're now going to hand it over to, to follow Liam to bless the back. I'm going to... It's on, it's on, it's on. We ask Almighty God to go on blessing.